Christmas is different for me now that um, um, the big fact of materialism is in there. I see it less of a, a, you know, a holiday now. You know, up until recently, I still believed in Santa Claus. Even though I lived in an apartment and there was no chimney, but you know, that's okay. Well, it's a lot less commercialized for me now because, uh, well, we're celebrating Christ's birthday now instead of what Santa Claus, the elves, the reindeer. I don't see Christmas as a day of presents anymore. I see uh, it as a, a symbol for um, eternal salvation. Uh, it's a lot different. It is a lot different. Now I actually think about just giving back, you know, during Christmas, you know, to help others. Right now, it's, I feel like a lot of love from everyone. I guess I care a lot more for it now because it's, it's I'm celebrating somebody that's special to me, someone that's in my heart. It's an uh, imaginary character that doesn't give me presents. I feel like I have so much people that loves me that spends, was willing to spend time with me on Christmas. As to the real significance of Christmas and how, it, how important that day actually really is, you know, the birth of our Lord. Um, it's just, it's just mind-boggling. It's just like, wow. Um, my cousin Kay invited me to church. Um, I guess uh, sports. What brought me to church was um, the fact that I was challenged. Uh, I was going through a hard time um, with my work, with my family. I felt that there was this loneliness, this emptiness inside that I was trying to plug it with different things, but none of the pieces fit. This, like, from what, I was, what I've been through, like, all the dramas and stuff, and then realizing in college that things was changing in my life. And then I started realizing, and then I feel like there was, like, God is calling me to go back to church. Um, people like Caroline, people like Tinks, Joyce, Kenneth, um, they were all friends from high school. I haven't seen them in years. And they challenged me. They said, hey, if you have no answers for yourself, why don't you just come to church here? Um, and maybe we can help you. And, uh, I took up that challenge. This is where I am now. Uh, I guess my brother really did. He's, he's been at church for a few months already, and he keeps telling me to come to fellowship with him, the Doc Fellowship. Um, the only reason I even bothered showing up to service was to play in a softball tournament, and then they made it a requirement. So, um, um, and then they had sports ministry regularly back then. Um, so I guess that was even the only reason why you probably showing up into those building. Um, it took me um, a few weeks after that first invite, but eventually I came and I stayed. Uh, and then I, uh, the thing that really. I guess it really drew me into church before I was I even got to know God, but I guess the board game tournament. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 it was really fun. It was really fun for me. And I got first place along with uh, my team with the, with the crushing Smoopies. Yeah, that was, I, that was a huge draw for me. Um, so I started throwing a plug for sports ministry, you know. Um, even though you're not into sports, um, you think you don't play a certain sport, you know, it's, I think it's still important that you know, we come together as a church, as a community to help out, um, to, because it is a means to draw people in. Um, you know, just by what I saw from the flag football tournament, you have, you have three teams of nine Christians, and they probably wouldn't have even sit in the church if it wasn't for playing football. So, um, um, so if we ask you, you know, I think you should say yes. Um. The first person I would mention it that uh, brought me to church and Christ would be uh, my cousin Kay. Well, I guess I guess really the main people were were I guess Dave, Dave and Mel. Um. Ever since I left church, it's basically like I um, only have contact with only Joyce. Um, people like Joyce, Kenneth, Tinks, Caroline. <laughs> now my brother's in there too. Uh, my brother was a really big part of it of me getting to know Christ. And probably I would also mention my brother, even though he's not a Christian, it's because of him that I knew Ken, Tings, Joyce, Crystal Wall. Um, I guess Henry played a big part too um, in just uh, building a relationship with me. Um, I started hanging out with him and started shooting the pool with him. And, uh, and it never came up. But I guess um, the fact that he just, we just kept shooting pool, 
And I guess through that, he built a friendship. And then he would every now and then throw in little things like, hey, why don't you come to Bible study? Why don't you come to Sunday school? At NYCC, I'd like to thank Pastor Aaron Israel for putting up with all those questions. I used to throw the brothers and sisters at uh, Agape, Doc. You know, these guys just been wonderful. They would share, and then at times I'd be, um, I'd be downright obstinate, but um, they would still, I guess, it was still coming from conversation. And um, they would at least listen to my view, and they didn't, they didn't come right out and say, oh, you're wrong. Um, so I guess that was, um, that was really refreshing. From, and it's really different from, I guess, past experiences that I had with Christians. She, without that first invite, I probably wouldn't become a Christian. She helped me through a lot of stuff and things I didn't understand. And she's the one that basically helped me get back on my feet. Just um, everybody that helped me and guided me through, um, through, uh, through a dark time. Here I am. I would definitely say that they were always there. Whenever I had a problem, um, whenever I had thoughts to share, they were willing to listen. As time went on, my brother, he just, he just told me to pray about things. He started, uh, when I was at home, he started explaining parts of the Bible to me. And I guess that's what, that, that was the thing I really noticed about people in this church, where they didn't try to, to force it on you. Um, they were more concerned about building a relationship and trying, really trying to get to know you first. Before, before the subject even came up. I got to know more. I got to hear people's testimonies. Uh, I, was, I was very influenced by what, what they had to say because uh, it, it, really, it really affected me because I can see the change in their lives. Uh, it was great that everyone was so accepting, even though at times I felt that I was very confrontational about Christianity. But it's really been a blessing that they you know, were willing to you know, accept me and listen you know, what questions I had and, you know, take the time to answer them. They always challenge me. Why don't you give this a try? Why don't you give that a try? And eventually the question of why don't you give Christ a try came up. I think that's basically what caused me to take the next step. And Christina is the second person that really helped me, like, understand more about God and understand what He has done for me. And that's when I gave up um, my life once again to Christ. Even though God has thrown up his share of challenges at me, but I'm just grateful to know that he's there throwing out those tests, throwing out those challenges, because I feel that without them, I wouldn't be, become, be able to become more like him. I'm thankful for having um, two extra families family, well, in, besides my regular family, a family at NYCAC and a family at BAC. Right now, I'm very thankful for uh, all the brothers and sisters in here, um, how much our relationship has grown, how many new people I've met, and uh, I count as family. I guess personally, um, I'm thankful for that, for the relationship I have with God, um, that time and again, you know, He makes it apparent that He's real the rarest things that happen. I'm very thankful uh, about my new outlook because I, ever since I accepted Christ uh, and I, I began to know a lot more about God, uh, I have a lot of hope now. Now, um, just really thank God for all these people around me, like all, all the love and joy like I never had before. And He showed me a lot of stuff that He proved me wrong that, you know, people love you, people care for you. You know, and and I see it. My future, my outlook on my future is isn't so bleak anymore, because uh, I know that God has a plan for me, and He can do He can do all these miracle things and miraculous things, and it just it's just so, it's just very amazing. And like that's how thankful I am for God, you know, because. In the past, like I always feel that like nobody cared for me, nobody would love me, and, you know, people would backstab me. <laughs> like that's how I felt. Like how he can connect me to other people, how he can just ch change everything about me. Yeah, I, I think that's just incredible. <laughs>